So Shazam, we have a couple different age groups in the film. Uh, every age group has their own favorite Batman. Who is your favorite Batman? Oh, great question. Uh, well, there's countless. I would say George Clooney or Val Kilmer, for sure. And that's a total joke. I'm. <laughs> should have not, I know, you would have killed me. I was about to leave. Yeah, good. Whew. I would have too. George I'm Clooney so had, sorry. George Clooney had rubber Clooney. nipples. Did he really? On his bad suit, so that was. Ooh. Did he really have rubber nipples? Yeah, they were. Okay, yeah, Michael Keaton or Christian Bale. Michael or Keaton. Alan West. Adam West. Alan West? I'm a mess. I'm an awful <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm the, don't talk to me right no, now. It's, oh, it's God. Either, it's either Michael and, Keaton or Christian Bale. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm for Christian Bale. I think he's, like, perfect for Batman, but yeah. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to argue. So it's just... Those okay. are the safe choices. Yeah. Those are the safe choices. choices. And Batman's my favorite person on the planet, and I don't know why he I loves messed Batman. that up by saying Alan West. Uh, I'm going to cry about that every day for the rest of my life. We'll let it go. We'll allow it this time. So I'm, I'm curious. Uh, you know, we've, we live in kind of the golden age of superhero movies right now. You guys kind of were born in the middle of it. So what's the first superhero movie you remember watching? I, the first super movie, superhero movie I ever watched was Dark Knight Rises. Dark Knight oh, yeah. Rises. Sure. Yeah, and then I, then I saw the Dark Knight, and then I saw the the one after that. <laughs> no, the one. I think it was Dark Knight, and then it was... Oh, Batman Begins is what the first Batman one I saw. Begins. Sorry, Batman Begins is the first one I saw. Then I saw Dark Knight Rises, and then I saw Dark Knight. I think mine was Man of Steel. Really? Yeah, I think that was the first one. Whoa, that was later. I know. That was like 2013, dude. Or I just can't think of any. And now you're a part of that universe. It's crazy. No big deal. Yeah. No big deal. If you could cross over with one hero, I mean, whether it's a Marvel hero Marvel or a DC, or DC hero, DC. Who, who, like, I mean, whether it's an actor or a character, who do you think would be the coolest to kind of work with and share a movie with? I think uh, Jason Momoa would be pretty cool. Mimosa. 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 Oh, wait, it, it is Mimosa. I said Mimosa so many times as a joke, and then I actually tricked myself into thinking that it was Jason Mimosa. <laughs> Are you down for an Aquaman? Uh, you were wearing an Aquaman t-shirt through half the movie. Yes, I was. Yeah. I was indeed. <laughs> do you think there's? Do you think there might be like a rivalry between Marvel and DC, or is that all made up? They're People want universes. that, and I think that'd be sick. Yeah. I think that'd be so sick. Justice League versus the Avengers? That would be sick. Who would win? Justice League would win. Yeah. <sighs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you got to kind of play the part in the movie uh, of the, the young guy who becomes a godlike man. So if you're 15 years old and all of a sudden you're this beautiful Zachary Levi, mm. uh, what's the first thing you do? What's your first course of action? I do my thing. I walk around as Zachary Levi and impress all the ladies like yeah. he does. Yeah. I'm a debonair now and yeah. Zachary Levi. It has to be Zachary Levi. Smolder. Who do you think his trainer is? Us. This guy. That I guy. can see it. I this can guy. see it. That guy. So I'm curious, if you could really quick just talk about how on set the process of saying Shazam, he appears. Like, is that just like you gotta hop out, hop in? How do you guys pull that off? Yeah, we, we had we we didn't really shoot together at all uh, unless it was like the transformation stuff. So we they'd be like Shazam, hold. Zach would come in, action, and then he appears. So you get to walk by each other and like high five. That's why, yeah, we <laughs> get a little slap, little fist bump. Uh, yeah. So you had the most time on set. I heard that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So my last question then: You make a Game of Thrones reference <laughs> in the movie. Are you Game of Thrones fans, and who do you think is going to end up on the throne if you are? He you is, think? He has no idea. That's what he's... <laughs> well, I do. I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's not. I've not watched one episode of Game of Thrones in my life. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. It's a good prediction. It's a hot hey, take. he thinks. Um, I think the Mountain. The he's mount the only character I know. <laughs> big because fella. he lifted the whole thing, so I think he will be the king of this show. I think he's gonna get the Game of Thrones. I think he's gonna win the Game of Thrones. I think Army Hammer. That'd be a plot twist.